All right, folks, so I uh, hadn't fired the boiler in a little while, so I figured I'd fire it up. So far, so good, no problems. Uh, up to 5 PSI, something like that. So, uh, what I'm doing is I'm actually testing. So, we have went out front and that D4 Caterpillar, I turned it just a little bit with the forklift and then I put lights on it. And we're going to test after it gets dark here in just a little bit, won't be long, and uh, see how it looks. Uh, I've never actually put Christmas lights on anything before, so we'll see if it looks like a bulldozer, if it just looks like a big clump of lights. Uh, we'll see. But anyway, so that's going to be our test. Uh, and like I said, there's, I don't know how many lights is on it. Hundreds, let's put it that way. But uh, we got plenty of lights left, so we've been collecting up lights. The bowler should be up here shortly, and like I said, the sun's are going down. Uh, time changed last night. We got plenty of wood here, slab. Uh, some pretty good sized slabs, but they're slabs. Uh, here's Nina Cat. Nina Cat! Hey, Nina! What are you doing? What are you doing? Hmm? So. Alright, I think that's about it. That's all we got going on. We haven't moved anything here. We've worked on the other boiler. Uh, we've done a lot of cleaning around the front of the shop and the shop and stuff. We're doing some changing here to try to get back to being able to do some videos on antique cars. Uh, okay, folks. Not completely dark, but not far from it. So, we're going to fire. We got yeah, a little below 50 pounds, or a little above 50 pounds, I guess. Alright, we'll make sure we're off here off here. Now I did uh, plug the drill in, hit the drill and watch the amp meter. We are, our amp meter does work. Uh, it just barely moves when I first hit the button and then it backs back down. I can get it to come up from where it's at to just to the zero basically uh, with everything on. So uh, we're just not pulling hardly any amps is all it is. So uh, anyway, let's see if we can get fired here. We'll open these up a little bit. Any water in it out. Open up our hydrostatic lubricator, turn it on. Bring it on up to speed. Close these back. And we'll close them all the way, just about. Uh, just so if there's any water in there, it'll come out. Speed on up. I'm happy with that. Back down on our rear staff. You see we're making five volts. It's our field. Back on the rear staff. You can see it's gaining. Bulbs coming on, gaining. Oh. Sorry about that, I didn't want to get past 120. Yeah. Okay. It's a little touchy there at the end. There's 120. Now we're going to bring our power up. Now, you can watch this. We just barely moved it off. We've got a... Uh... Oh, let's walk down and look. I don't know how many lights we got running. Don't help that we got a street light right here. Here we go. So there's the start of it. That sort of looks like a bulldozer. Sort of, <laughs> I guess. Like I said, that's the first time we've ever, uh, that I've ever put lights on anything. That's not too bad. I think we can live with it. Maybe we'll get a little bit better as we go, but. Yeah, we've got plenty of lights. So we're gonna do the crane yet. We've got my old forklift I'm probably gonna do. I may put this water wagon together enough to do, and uh, I don't know, whatever else we decide. So, but there you go, it's together. It's working. Okay, let's see how long it takes Nana to get here. So, I bought this engine in Montgomery, Alabama, and from a fella, and he put it on a pallet, and strapped it down for me look I'm already so uh wired it down and then he put some straps on it so i'm really tickled with that and he dropped it off at the local uh, uh 
fastenal. Now this was sitting in, in the dirt in his barn for years and years. And this is a reversible engine. It's got, uh, I believe this is a Stevenson gear is what they call it. Now this pipe was on top and it's got a lubricator which is just a, I think it's just a pressure feed lubricator. See they got the exhaust capped off. This was on the top and it stuck up. So he actually took the pipe off, but really, really good fella because I didn't say anything to him. You know, of course I wanted that lubricator, but I didn't say anything to him about it. I just I told him that if he needed to take it off, that was fine because, you know, it couldn't be hanging over the pallet anywhere. And uh, so he took it off, but as you can see, he wired it to the side of it. So I, I was really uh, appreciated that because, you know, that's a $150, you know, piece right there by itself. So, uh, but anyway, so there's no flywheels on this, but this is a reversing engine, so sometimes they even ran them, you know, without flywheels because you don't want a big flywheel turning and then try to reverse it because you end up breaking a crankshaft if you ain't careful. So uh, anyway, there's, uh, my understanding, no markings on this. There is a little plate. Well, it's not a plate, but a little piece in the center that might have something more if we clean it off. Look at Now, you're trying to get to me, ain't you? Come on. Uh, hold on, let me get them in up here. Oh. Okay, there you go, Nan. Okay, she wanted up here in the truck. So, anyway, so we're going to clean it up and see if there's anything on it. He said it will run. He's ran it on air before, but it's been quite a while. But <laughs> you wouldn't try to get in front of the camera, would you? Huh? You wouldn't try to get in front of the camera. You want to eat the camera? <laughs> Boy, oh boy, this is fun. You're in one of them moods, ain't you? Mm, you're in one of them moods. What are you being so ornery for? What are you being so ornery for? Mm. Come on. Come on. Come on, then. Okay. So, uh, we're going to clean it up, oil it up, and see if it runs. Looks like maybe it was painted red. Maybe we'll... If we do paint it, we'll paint it back the color it's supposed to be. It looks like he's put a pipe wrench on it. Well, you just you can see them, but you can't feel them. But probably to make sure it's still turned, and uh, which is not an issue. Uh, even if it didn't, you know, it wouldn't be a big deal. I, for what I paid for this thing, it's not. You know, I wasn't expecting a bunch, but I actually a lot nicer engine than what I thought it was going to be. But we'll just have to see if it'll uh, if it'll run or not. I'm getting beat up by a cat here. So, what is it now? Huh? I know you ate, so I know that ain't what it is. <laughs> so anyway, the brass handles. Uh, this makes this thing probably, it was probably a marine engine. Uh, could have been just a hoisting engine, but chances are it was marine. Uh, you can see all this is brass. I'm sorry, I'm getting beat up with a cat. But, uh, no, no. Lord have mercy. Okay, so uh, yeah, all the handles are brass and stuff, so they'll surely clean up and be nice. Okay, let's get this thing unloaded before Nina beats me up. Come on, man. Come on. Like a dog. Just like a dog. Okay, folks, so we got this little engine running on air, and uh, seems to be doing pretty good. I had to put a flywheel on it. I uh, didn't want to go over center because it was so tight from sitting. Got it all oiled up good. It's freeing up now. But we're probably going to leave a flywheel on it. Uh, it needs to have something, not a big one, but something on it. And uh, now this probably was a yacht engine or a boat engine, ran a prop on a shaft. But anyway, the, the reversing gear seems to work good. Uh, I think it's a Stevenson gear. And let me see, or Stevenson linkage. So, base, I've got couple of drums there and it is not doing good so we're going to build a base for it i think i'm going to go ahead and do that next but i'm going to run it here just a second just to show you i've got to hold it over and hold it off the off of everything here let me uh see if i can get you set up somewhere Okay, 
Okay, really good running engine. I really don't want to, uh, I mean, I don't need to work on it right now, but I don't want to put it anywhere without building that base. I'm going to go ahead and build a base for it that'll, that'll hold it up. Uh, that's a Novo flywheel. And I've actually got another one I could put two on it and just run it. I mean, it don't really matter, but you really don't want a heavy flywheel or reverse anyway, but that's probably a little heavier than what it needs to be. But I know not to reverse it too quick under a load. You wouldn't want it to momentum to break the crankshaft or the rod. So I'll just shut it off and reverse it and start it back up. Uh, it's not like we're putting it in a boat or anything. So anyway, uh, I'm going to build a base and we'll get that done. And I'm going to bend something up on the brake, uh, a plate, and try to make it look decent. And then, you know, later on when we paint it, maybe it'll look pretty good. So, all right. All right, folks. So, uh, sun's just shining bright, ain't it? You wouldn't think it'd be so cold, but it is. Uh, got this one together, put a belt pulley on it, and built this uh, base for it. Got oil everywhere because I was holding it up good, but uh, we'll eventually clean this thing up and and redo it and probably paint it. Uh, put a Novo flywheel on it, and I got a I got to make a gib key for it, but I got a temporary piece in there. Now the pulley on the other end, I bored it out to inch and three quarter, and. I think everything's good to go. We're going to run it on air here real quick, but uh, eventually we'll run this thing on steam. Let me see. Got a little noise to it, but it's not terrible. I think it's the rods a little bit loose. We can adjust it out. Just haven't done it yet. But uh, stuck it on the ice cream maker. You can hear a little bit of a hammer there. But I almost can't feel it when I try to move it. So we're going to tear it down anyway and clean it all up to paint it. And I don't know the brand of this one or the year. I'm guessing probably uh, 1890s, maybe, you know, 19 teens, uh, tens or teens or something anyway. But pretty neat engine. You know, it does have reverse. So it was probably a launch engine or a boat engine. Uh, most of the hoisting engines, which would be something for a winch, would have been bigger than this. So, but neat little engine. And uh, we'll do some more work on it eventually. I just wanted to get it on a base so it wouldn't fall over when I set it somewhere because that ain't much of a, a base area there. So, anyway, uh, got this one at a really, really good price. So I'm tickled with it.